Jonathan. Hi, Tracy. It's so nice to talk to you. I'm uh, with so many shows.com and loving the show. I could just go on with many reasons why I love it, but I want to ask first, why do you think it's resonating so well with the audiences? Because there's something for everyone. It's a family yeah. that is so large. First of all, it's a family that's so large. Um, it's almost it's almost like a small smattering of of society, and yeah. and there's so many different personalities. I think there's something for everyone. There is, uh, it's a wonderful spectrum of characters. Yes, for sure, for sure. Have you done any comedy before, Primo? I, I had done a couple of shows right before <laughs> Primo. Uh, yeah. historically no i don't i i haven't historically done a lot of comedy so this is really like my first big foray into comedy and what a world uh it's been it's been fantastic well it's yeah it's fabulous uh, and i'm just curious does it feel did you feel like you had to stretch at all to get to the comedy place or does it come pretty naturally <laughs> i naturally i think might be a little generous um <laughs> i i i don't i don't push uh if if that makes sense i okay I, I just wrote i actually just wrote a, i don't i don't uh i don't practice a lot of social media i'm trying to get better at that and i i just wrote a piece there where i talked a little bit about this where I, m all of my acting including comedy is really about finding the truth in the scene and the truth mm -hmm. in the character and the relationships and and so i kind of just leaned on that because i don't have a lot of comedy experience and the writing is amazing. And uh, one of the many reasons why the show works is because of Shay and the writers. Mm -hmm. And uh, being able to just find the truth in what they were saying and the truth in who, who Jay was, the comedy just sort of came naturally out of that. Okay. That makes okay. Sense? Yeah, that does make sense for sure. Yeah. Um, now, Uncle Jay is pretty serious, and so I, I kind of feel I've kind of put this thought. What do you together. mean, Tracy? What do you mean? <laughs> Just a little. I've I've kind of put this thought together that the five uncles like have these five gifts for Rafa. I mean, they all offer so much love and support, but I think they each have a very distinct area that they're helpful in, or that that they want to offer to Rafa. And I feel like Uncle Jay's focus is stability like stability you know financially with family um just being in a you know a safe place do, do you agree with that at all is that maybe on the right track oh yeah and i'm, I'm so glad that you see him that way because that's mm -hmm. that's exactly who he is he's very pragmatic for that reason because mm -hmm. he wants to be able to find something that he can not only identify with in rafa's life that he can hopefully provide some some support and some loving guidance with, but, um, but it's also what he's in, in his mind, I think both realistically within the universe of the show and, and in his mind, what he's provided for his family, his whole life. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now back to the serious part, which kind of goes along with that question, but <laughs> it, it was it a particular challenge at all to keep a straight face with your character so much of the time. <laughs> I mean, you're a professional, so I, I mean, I, that's what you do, but I just can't imagine how hard it might be. Uh, it was extremely hard. You have an incredible cast of of actors, all so talented, all so funny, and yeah, it was it was it was a hard time. I actually got I got a reputation for not breaking, but it, it's okay. easy when you're when you're living within the 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 very sturdy framework of who Jay is. Sure, just kind of I just kind of leaned into that, and I would just wait it out. Uh, and there were times where I definitely broke, but it was it was rare. I okay. uh, I tried to hold the line from them. Yeah, well, well Crazy. done. Now, just to confirm, Jay is the oldest uncle, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and do you think that part of that, the way he is, is a matter of like he feels that that's his role as the oldest to to be the most responsible or the most wise or anything like that? Does he feel that pressure? I I think Mondo might might take some issue with me being the most wise. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he's definitely the philosopher of the group. True. I yeah, I think I think there's something to him being the first, witnessing a lot of the instability from a much more informed 
uh, place than everyone else and really trying to compensate for that. I think there's a lot of that in him. Certainly a lot of that in how I how I embodied Jay. So okay. yeah, I think that that's probably true in a, in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, speaking of Mondo and the other uncles, I think one of the things that's so great about Primo is that we have interactions with Rafa and his friends, Rafa and his uncles, and uncles with different uncles. You know, there's just so many pairings and groupings throughout each episode that it just keeps it really fresh. Um, do you yeah. have a particular pairing or combination with the other uncles um, from this first season? Uh, that You mean that that's like my favorite? Yeah, I mean, just yeah, that's kind of you're especially fond of like the money coats with uh Ryan or the rooftop scenes with with Mike. Just any particular pairing Tracy, or combination. Are, are, are you trying to are you trying to start <laughs> are you trying to start a fight? Is that what's happening? I'm not getting involved, <laughs> just like Rafa said with the rooftop. I'm not getting involved. No, 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 you're already involved now, Tracy. Just like Ryan, you're already involved. I'm uh, in it. <laughs> I, I, honestly, and this is this is I know that everybody says, it, but the the pairings are my favorite pairings are when we're all there together okay uh i certainly had um i certainly had favorite moments that were with specific uncles and i think uh the only one that i didn't really get a chance to spend a lot of time with was was um mondo and roly like i'd love to get more mm -hmm. time with both of them because yeah. they're both so funny um, but yeah, I think when we're all in the room together, it's it's insanity in like the best way possible. It's fantastic. Yeah. Speaking of which, the bus questions was the best. Everybody <laughs> huddled around with all the bus questions. It was yeah. like Drea was the teacher, you know, and like, I'm not taking any more bus questions. That was so funny. It's yeah, it was. it was so it was so much fun to shoot, too. I'm sure. I've yeah. watched through three times now, just just because I wanted to. It, and uh, each time, each time I pick up new jokes, it is just chock full. The writing is just, it's all in there. And I particularly love pop culture references. And that's, yeah. it's jam packed with those. So, I mean, I would definitely, I, I encourage people to watch it more than once. You're going to get something new each time. I'm actually on my fourth now watching it with my husband and my son. So uh, yeah, who knows what I'll find this time? It's not it's not the first time uh, I've heard this from a lot of people, which yeah. is really beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's also there's it's so full of jokes. I mean, the pop culture references that's mm -hmm. Shay uh, and the writers they're mm -hmm. they're all so heavily steeped in in their own respective fields. But Shay is sort of like the master of of it all, and he guided us through it so wonderfully well. Um, but yeah, like there's so many jokes in the series mm -hmm. that sometimes you'll laugh and you'll miss a joke. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So going back through, you're, you're like, oh, okay, get the, oh my God, I didn't even know that there was there. Right, so, yeah. right. Yeah, you're yeah. prepared for the laugh you enjoyed the last time, and then yeah. all of a sudden, boom, there's there's another one, for yeah. sure. Now, it's the I'm gift curious, that keeps on giving, Tracy. It is, it is. And let's we're, we need a season two. We definitely need a season two. I need more time with this family. Were you familiar uh, with Freebie before you were cast in this show and on the Freebie Network? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. for for a number of different reasons not least of which i've been on a couple of shows that were on okay freebie. okay so yeah i i actually i knew freebie when it was <laughs> was it <laughs> imdb I knew, tv i knew freebie when it was imdb tv yeah yeah i knew it then too yeah yeah i'm with you i'm with you there it's such a great opportunity it's such a great deal to to see i started watching like in the heat of the night something i never watched you know growing up um you know just getting to watch old shows that you haven't seen and then all this new content i mean like jury duty this summer and and yeah. and primo and I'm, I'm a huge bosch fan we do coverage um for that for bosch legacy um at our outlet so yeah i'm just i i knew about them but i feel like it's really previous really getting on the map now and a lot of that's you know attributed to you and the work in, in Primo. So well done. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. All right. I have a um, a few sort of rapid fire questions. No stress, uh -huh. just for fun, okay. just to kind of end things out. Um, we focus. have a focus, get ready. <laughs> we have a big uh, Gonzalez family barbecue. So for you, Jonathan, what is the, what is your favorite menu item for a barbecue? What's the best thing you want someone to bring to eat? Marinated tofu. Marinated tofu. I like that. I like that. I'm a tofu person. So yes, I, I would I would really appreciate having that and more barbecues. Me um, too. 
Okay, in the real the cast, not the not the mm. characters, but in the actors themselves, who would be the toughest opponent to go against in a real life round of game champ? Drea. Uh Christina Vida. Yeah, Christina. Okay, okay. And speaking of Drea, now thinking about her character, what award would you, Jonathan, give the character Drea for the wall of accomplishments and praise? Uh the world's most tolerant person. <laughs> that sounds about <laughs> accurate. Yeah, I think she's earned that. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then the last one. We're again not getting involved, not trying to play favorites, but this is your chance to say if you had to under duress pick a favorite uncle, why should it be Jay? Why should it be? I think Jay uh, will never let you down. Okay. Jay will never let you down. That, that's a solid answer and, and a good thing right there. You always well, go back to the same restaurant when you when they have yeah. a really great either menu yeah. on the menu because you know it's going right. to be delicious. Every Jay's just yes, like you can count on Jay. Like, yeah, I'm gonna, but that's going on a t shirt. Not sure. Yeah, that's you your tagline. Yeah, you can count on Jay. So. Uh, I'll definitely give you residuals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, this has been so much fun. I, I really do just gush over the series and I've been really excited about, about talking to you. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time. Thank and you. I'll <laughs> thank you so much, Tracy. Such a wonderful, wonderful interview. And you're so nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you.